Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to the Minecraft LAN party. And I have something, this is new. Look what I got. Oh, it doesn't look like much. Um, but it's 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 something kind of exciting. So let's let's go up and show you what it is. Woohoo. So I built a little mob farm. Um, I was intending to, to build one at some point anyway. And this one is, uh, I figured this was actually a pretty decent place for it. Uh, I was thinking we could do it right around here anyway. Uh, so this is pretty close to my place right up there. There's Risk and C's place. And uh, over the water, I was thinking maybe over here. I knew that the, the villager area was somewhere around here. I thought it was more under there, but that's fine. So... Um, so I realized I probably had enough room to build it in in the uh, the rock here. Uh, wasn't entirely correct. Uh, I did run into ocean right up there, and and a lot of this layer, a lot of this layer, I had to uh, battle with the water. As you can see, the the ocean is dripping through here, but that's okay. It works. So let me show you what I got. I haven't turned this thing on yet. I want to do that on camera. So, here it's a pretty it's pretty straightforward. Let me switch to a a pick here. We can sort of pop in for a moment. So, spawning platforms. They're 15 long because that's the distance that I can make a redstone run and without having to do any fancy uh, uh, repeater stuff. And I have a bunch of dispensers here with water buckets. And uh, the water will run eight blocks along here and push the mobs off and down here. And then underneath those slabs down there, I've got a bunch of uh, hoppers that will pick up their drops and put them into a convenient chest. So it's all well and good. So uh, by putting slabs here will allow me to see in, but will actually let me... Uh, see in but won't let the light in and uh, that way it'll maximize the spawning rates and what do i have over here okay i guess i need to do this with buttons so i need to before i go i need to prime the whole system so here's what's happened i've got a hopper clock here with a stack of well why won't you open uh oh oh stack of seeds for timing and then it goes over here and i've got a little pulse generator and then it goes in and first thing last thing to do is to put a repeater down in that empty spot so let me grab some repeaters and uh so yeah so then when the clock goes it'll then it stays on all the time it kind of pulses off and then back on and it, it'll turn it'll trigger all of these and then there's a bunch of repeaters here basically a big delay and a pulse extender and then does this side and then come down here and uh, come here it powers this block there's a redstone torch on top of this block and then that leads to um, that controls this redstone torch, which powers this block, which then triggers this, and then there's repeaters, and it just repeats. So it wraps around one side, then the other. Now, I don't want them all to be triggered water-wise all at the same time, so here's what I gotta do. Well, not gotta do, but here's what I wanna do. I wanna prime this, right? So basically, I'm gonna take my button here, I'm gonna stick it here, I'm gonna run down here first, and break this. You go pop so I have this and I want to trigger all these and this is partially to test oh that doesn't work uh oh um okay hang on a second bless you redstone torch yeah we'll use redstone torch okay I was hoping the button would work but so I put a redstone torch here, pop, and it puts out all those there. Now those torches will go down and they'll get picked up 
great. So that's what I want now. Now I'm gonna go put back this redstone powder. Pop. And then come down here and break this guy. Pop. I don't know, I wanna leave him. So now I want, basically here's what I want. I want that side to have water and this side to not have water, right? And then over here, I want this side to have water, right? And then the other side not to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go brown and break this here, pop. And redstone torch um, here, uh oh. Put back that redstone. Put back this redstone, pop, pop. All right, and now this side has water and that side does not. And now I wanna go up, pop, 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 and put water up there. So, whoa, okay. So then it comes up here. I wanna break this redstone temporarily. Pop, and I wanna break this redstone temporarily. And then I want to do this, put the redstone back, and put the redstone back. Cool, so now I should have half of the, half of the spawning area should be filled with water. Bloop, completely, but not dripping down because I don't want the mobs to be able to ride the water down. Half, half, excellent. So now, we can come here and put down a repita. Now, so when I put this in, it should then dry out that side, and after a delay, it should fire up this side. Nice. And then upstairs here, this side should be triggered. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Ha ha ha. And then up here should have water on one side but not the other. Beautiful. So it's working. So now all I have to do is turn on the turn on the hopper timer. Do that. Now the hopper timer can run. Now it'll start cycling the water back and forth. And I think it's about 50 some 51 seconds or something like that between the two. Now, if I come back down here, now mobs should be able to start to spawn up there, which means at some point, see, I got all these torches back, which is nice. At some point we should have, might take a minute. Come on. Okay. Should I be worried? Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Let's go see what's going on. This is where having a uh, night vision potion would be helpful. I got water. Okay, it seems to be running. Not seeing any mobs though. Okay. So 
So it seems to be working as, as anticipated, as intended. But for some reason... Oh, look! Okay, I got at least one drop. There's an arrow in there, there must have been a skeleton. Okay. Well, give me a minute, let me see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay, so it is working, it's just not going very fast. Which means, probably, that I've got some spawnable area around here that I'm not aware of. Which is fine. I just gotta go find it and clear it up. So I gotta go caving and lighting, um, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Oh, I hear a spider. Um, did want to show off a couple of things. So, Mr. Spider, you can come down now. I hear you up there. Come on down. Come on. Uh, so, downsides of this, which I was hoping to be able to show off, but uh, may have to do later. Uh, the height from the lower platform, basically it's 24 blocks up from here up to the first spawning platform and 32-ish up to the top spawning platform. Um, basically it's just far enough that standing down here things should be able to spawn on all three platforms. Um, and, but not really far enough for witches to fall and die. And the spiders, they can catch onto the wall on their way down. So, so I left out a little gap here so you can shoot them from here, um, which is kind of important because the spiders can come down and then they can climb back up. And then the witches, they take some fall damage and then they use their, their healing potion. Oh, hello. That spider fell and died. And look, he gave us some string. Nice. Okay, so obviously, needs to be made much more efficient. I probably have to go through and do some searching for dark areas. There's probably some caves around that need to be lit up. Um, I mean, I, I think I have most of the, the caves around here lit up, but there could be some space down below. I mean, we are at Y17, so there's not too much space down below, but there's, there's, I'm sure there's some dark areas around where stuff can spawn. Um, and this wasn't, intended to be a super efficient mob farm. I just wanted a way of getting some things like bones and string. Um, the hardest part about all this, I mean, the all the hoppers were a bit expensive just because it's, you know, five, five iron per. Um, so that's one thing, but the, oh. Okay, so there were a batch of creepers there. Look, I got some gunpowder. Um, the uh, the dispensers. That was the hard part. <laughs> um, I didn't have enough string to make all the bows I needed. Uh, so I ended up trading with... I have a Fletcher over here. I ended up buying a bunch of bows off of him. Which is fine. Um, just It just was a little bit painful because I'm low on emeralds. And notice, I still don't have any pants. Uh, so I, need to, I still need to finish equipping myself and I don't have a I don't have a shovel yet so I've got uh, I still have some stuff to do and I need some uh, I need to come up with more emeralds in order to uh, to get you know basically uh, finish re-equipping myself after having died so but hey look at that for doing nothing well other than spending a bunch of time building this thing Ah, here we go. Hello, Mr. Spider. Oh, see, and then they climb back up, and maybe he'll fall back down. But I can shoot him through here, and uh, so that's good. Uh, I was initially thinking of putting a row of dispensers in here with lava in it to burn up anything that did fall all the way down, but then I realized the witches can just swim in the lava because they take their fire resistance potions. So that's a little, little annoying. Oh, see, he fell again, probably. Nice. I do have to be a little careful about the uh, too many spiders accumulating because they will climb back up and they can actually block off. They can reduce spawning because there's mobs up there and they can block off the drop and prevent other mobs from falling. Um, I initially I had put 
trap doors like this. I have trap doors along here so that if any baby zombies happen to fall in or spiders happen to fall in and survive, this is less than a block gap so they can't get out. Um, but I can still shoot through it. Uh, I tried putting trap doors along the edges by the fall area thinking the mobs might just walk off and they do but the problem is that when the spiders climb back up they kind of get hung up on the trap doors they end up making this sort of net oh first, first zombie yeah there we go free zombie flush to trade with the villagers nice so there we go um anything else the the spawning floors are intentionally two blocks tall which will let most mobs fall uh, let most mobs spawn, but it won't let Enderman spawn because it's also it's very much not far enough of a fall to kill Enderman. And I don't want Enderman accumulating in here because you can't shoot them and it's a little close to us uh, stab them with a sword and they can teleport out and, they, and then just kind of make a mess for everything. So I didn't want any Enderman, but everything else can spawn in here, including spiders. So, even though I have to play shooting gallery with them a little bit. So there we go. Oh, nice. So we'll get this working better. Because it, it can and will. Uh, that's the plan. And there we go. So I just wanted to show that. I wanted to prime it and actually start running it on camera. And again, we'll probably need to go and probably have caves back over behind here and uh and back over here i need to be lit up and maybe off this direction well, i've dug out this pretty good so uh, we will see and there may be some more caves down below and up up here that i haven't found and explored so we'll light those up and it'll it'll pick up the uh the spawning quite a bit because in my testing world this thing was just kind of a constant shower of mobs but that was best case scenario right so so there we go but look at this i'll have a supply of bones that i can make bone blocks from so very exciting cool so i want to show you that um that's all i have right now thank you for watching and i will see you next time right bye